Hey, 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 how y'all doing? My cat. <laughs> how y'all doing? It's Mama Roxy says, and I'm here for your father, your purses, and your pocketbooks, baby, your hearts, and your mans. How y'all doing today? I had to get on here and talk about my last night, right? And I was watching, I think it's Juanita. Juanita Janita. Listen, I know I said the name wrong. I I had wrote it later up under uh up under, you know, down below. I had wrote it and was like, I am so sorry for pronouncing the the name wrong. I think it's Juanita, Juanita, Juanita. But anyway. I was wondering how many of you watched that movie? How many of you got an opportunity to watch Juanita, Juanita on um, Netflix last night? And she was an amazing actress. And it was like, Friday, get down. Down, Friday. Get down. I'm sorry, y'all. He all over where he not supposed to be at. Get down. He's just looking at me like, y'all seen my office before. He on my makeup desk, right? And what he doing is he looking in the mirror at himself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, you ask me how I'm doing. I am so seriously 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 under the weather but last night i was under the weather but i couldn't stop watching the movie and if y'all seen it like i seen it and was paying attention to it what i liked about the movie is she was working she was paying the bills she was taking care of her children she had a grandbaby and everything just got overwhelming it was like she couldn't, she didn't even have time enough to have her little freaky dream. Do you know what I mean? It, and sometimes it be that way. Sometimes, even when your kids get older, they put so much pressure on you. Till you don't even have the time to think sometimes. When it's so much going on out here in this world. It ain't even a world. It's so much going on with people nowadays. You be shocked on everything that's happening. And you worry about your children. Even though they're old, you worry about their well-being. You worry if they eating. You worry if somebody putting their hands on them or trying to make them do something if they not or hoping that they not having the issues that you have. So it be so much stress. They just don't understand it. You just want to get up and get away and let them deal with their own stuff sometimes. And that's the truth. I swear. If I had more fun, I had more fun raising my children when they were younger. And now that they older, it's like I have more worries now than I had when they were younger. And I'm, you'd be so concerned. You con you're concerned about them. If you got them girls, you're concerned about somebody running game on them or somebody misusing them or somebody putting their hands on them you be so worried and then if you do say something you worry that they not gonna take you for face value or what you got to say because they think your ass is old like you don't know nothing you ain't been where i've been you know y'all don't know where we been you don't know what we been through you for all you know is that we older, we have raised dog, we were stern sometimes, we were shitty sometimes, we were 
a good mama. We were maybe not so good of a mama. And you don't know what our issue was before we had you. Or why we were carrying you. Or why you were growing up. So, damn, that makes that even more harder. Same thing it is with the boys, the men. You want to make sure that they happy. You want to make sure that they turning out to be the man that you want them to turn out to be. You want to make sure that you ain't raising no woman beaters, no, 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 no crazy type child. You, you, you didn't did all of these cautions. You didn't made it to the point where you didn't pushed and fussed and, and cussed and did everything besides put yourself in the grave. And I'm going to tell you, if I had to do that, hey, I just would have had to do what I had to do. But now you're grown now. And seeing that movie right there was like, boom, my eye opener for me. I had to call my cousin. I'm like, cuz, you got to see this. It was more so, it was the moral of the story. When she did that go and she left her children in God's hands and gave them a choice. She didn't give them a choice. She had she was always there, taking a the fall, being right there. Being the good mama, trying to, even when your ass is doing wrong, she's still trying to help you. She's still trying to be there. You know, and, and sometimes they just don't see that right there. Man, it's just something else. And the same with the boys. You want to make sure that they love somebody that's worth loving them. You want to make sure that um, they're not being taken advantage of. You want to make sure that they are doing what they're supposed to do as a man. You're going to, regardless to how old they get, you're going to keep pushing that good thought on them. You know what I'm saying? You you know you ain't had the best of this, so you know you don't want to do this. You know that when you have kids, you've seen me struggle. You know what I'm saying? I didn't give up. I still don't give up. But... Sometimes you just got to leave them to find their way. And when you leave them to find their way, they either, they do, or they ain't learning shit. Once again, sometimes I think that's our fault too, because we're always there holding it up, holding it up, opening the door. I've learned sometimes, baby, you got to show tough love. You got to show tough love so they ass can learn some things. You got to show tough love so your ass can learn some things. You got to learn to let go. You got to learn to trust your instincts. You got to learn to believe in God and let him take the way when it comes to them kids. It's really when it comes to everything. That's how it is. God is amazing. And watching the movie last night, it really, it, it really let me know that I've been doing a, I've been doing a good job. You don't pack yourself on the back enough. You're not thankful that they still here. They not locked up. They ain't on no drugs, and they're a little whiny, a little disrespectful at times. But you got to realize you did a damn good job. You did. <laughs> but then you got to live your own life. You got to let go somebody else's to grab hold to your own shit. You do. I learned that my kids is, what, he 30, 32? Um, my oldest is 29. My next to him is, I mean, the next to my oldest son, which is 32, my, my daughter is 29. I got another daughter that's 27. I, uh, a son that's 24. You know what I'm saying? Shh. So I know. And I got eight grandbabies. And with one more on the way. So hell, I know a little bit about some. Might not know a lot. Yeah, sometimes I don't pronounce names right. Hell, who knows? Sometimes I forget my kids' damn name. I be like, boy, you know your damn name. 
Yeah, I do. But when I have crazy days, today was a day I could not get up without needing help. <laughs> I couldn't get up. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't catch my breath. But nothing in the world. But I'm here. I'm still hurting. Uh, no matter what I took today, it just it didn't do a dang on thing for me. And my pain level was like pow through the window. But I'm smiling. When my youngest daughter came to see me today and she brought my other two grandbabies. That's the video that you're gonna see before this one. Uh, uh Elijah and Noah. <laughs> Xavier and Camden stay with me. Yes, darling. I'll get back on the eye. And um, y'all didn't even get a chance to see this boy yesterday. He wasn't on the video. He got my phone, which you know he ain't supposed to have. But um, he got my phone and he playing the game on it, so he can watch TV in my room. Close that door. I forgot that music is on. Hurry up. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. And uh, he hanging out with me. Um, my cat is down there. You got to make sure you let him out when you go out. There you go. Come on, say bye to you too. First, you got to say hi to you two. What grade are you in, first grade? First grade. I'm in first grade. You tell him that you're reading on the fifth grade level. You're reading yeah. on the fifth grade level. You're doing math on the fifth grade level. You right. can... Speak Spanish and Mandarin. No, not that much. Uh, so say something in Mandarin for me. For us. I haven't been in Mandarin. I only did like um. What words did you do? None. You did do a, a Mandarin word. You came no, home and I told me. No, I didn't. Um, numbers. Put the phone down and look at this girl. You said what? I only did numbers, I think. Then say something and uh, give me a number in Mandarin. One. Oof. Who? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, give me two. Give me, come on, give me, a, give me a, a number. Put the phone down. Go ahead. I don't know. You know better than that. Xavier, you know we are on up. I'm gonna kill you. You know I can't have this on. Say something in Mandarin. Boys, <laughs> say something, man. Sun is three. Sun, I'll say it again. Sun is three. Sun yeah, is three. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay, say, 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 uh, and what is that Spanish? Yo, yo, but count from one to five, please. In Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, wait. That uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Oh. What is number ten? What's the what's the name for number ten? Um, um, cien. Who? I, I mean, not no cien is hundred, but um, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forget you know what it. color is pink in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> you lost your man somewhere in between there. Say something. <laughs> Say something, come on. Uh, Say something in Spanish. Um, How about Orla? Here, take the phone and get out. You forgot <laughs> everything. Get out, take the cat with you. He forgot everything. He can we put, um, can we put, um, get here. can we play some, um, the, um, some, like, stone block, too? No, you're playing just what I was playing on my phone. Why? Cause there's like all of it. Listen, yes. Don't ask me all of that. I wanna play some music. No, sir. No. You know you don't play on my phone, period. I was being nice. You supposed to got me to another level. We paying Pop Stone too. I got bad things. So here. Take the cat and go in there. So I just want to get on here and tell y'all that that I love y'all. I hope that y'all are having a very beautiful and blessed day. Child, thank y'all for, for for not tripping on me. Y'all already know. So I can say some names and I can't say some. Sometimes I forget. 
You know how that go. But this is Mama Roxy says, I love you and ciao. I'm going to bed. I'm taking the scarf off my head, these earrings out my ear. I'm keeping the lip gloss on because my lips was chapped. But y'all have a beautiful weekend. I love y'all. Ciao.